No, damn it, hollow clip, what's going on? Ah, I didn't want to do this. Ah, I was trying to do a trick. Ah, big dancing man coming at me from beyond the grave with the holograms and shit. Hello, everybody. My name's Cree, bro. I wanted to start off doing a fancy thing. Game springing shit on me. Let's check this out. I'm on Route 5 and I'm just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry, come check it out. Are you, are, are you checking it out? Are you in the process of checking it, dude? I don't care, Tierno. Get the fuck out of my life. Now, let me do the, 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 the cute thing I wanted to do. Ha! Damn it, car! You're getting in my... Ah! There we go. Yeah! Thank you. I know I'm a beautiful lady. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay, what is through here? Eh! Hey. Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bondin. Have you heard about old powers? I am uncomfortable with the, both this man and this music. The expression yours tells me you have it. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. Old powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. They can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit. They are truly mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. Back away from the man in the pink suit. Attack power increases the attack stat, and defense power increases the defense stat. I bet you weren't expecting that. Powers gain levels, take a look at the instructions, you can activate an old power, I do believe I should take my leave right now. <sighs> what the fuck are these? What the fuck are these? I forgot immediately what he was talking about. What are, what are these powers? I don't see them anywhere. What is going on? I'm gonna move on with my life for the time being. If you lose your way in Lumios and touring a nearby shop to get your bearings. Just to reset the camera, I guess. Route 5, known as Versant Road, at least to both Parfum Place and Camphrier Town. Good, this is where I need to go. All right, cool, in we go. Route 5, finally. Damn it, more nonsense going on. Hello, Lucario. What do you want, what are you doing? Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario and it dashed off. What's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this girl's aura or something? Everybody in this, everybody, everybody in this world is just hippie bullshit. Seems Lucario likes you. I'm gonna take the negative response wherever I can. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one taking a liking to a stranger. So Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer who to, to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Whoops, I am, uh... Ah, oh, man, I am kind of out of it right now. I probably shouldn't be recording this, but I need to. I'm Corina, Shallower City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll hope you know how to roll the punches. Cool, is this mine now? All right, I guess there it goes. Okay, so Route 5. Versant Road. What have we got here? Skate Park. Can I pull some sick tricks while I'm up here? How do I get at that Pokeball down there? Oh, I have to do it via grind. There we go. Bam. Man, I'm gonna have my own uh, aggressive inline ripoff any day now. Just so damn good. This is supposed to be a half pipe, and yet I'm just rolling right up the side. That's not what I wanted. The only thing this is good for is that one grind. Ah! Skate park is bullshit. All right. Well, I suppose I should uh, get on with the getting on and get myself a new Pokemon here before uh, Chirbits gets too many levels and is impossible to catch something. That's a uh, pile of baby poo. That's what that is. Gulpin. I don't know what a gulpin is. Could be grass, could be poison. Gonna kill it, since it's the first thing I saw anyways. I can't use this one. Yawn. Hmm, so that's gonna put me to sleep and Cherbits is gonna be useless at the end of this turn. He is pretty beefy. Use pound. All right, well, I'm still coming out on top of uh, the damage right now. So yeah, Cherbits is just gonna keep trying to Ember 
I want him to get all the experience out of this fight if I can. And even if, even if I sleep for like four turns, I think this burn will do its do its job. I don't even need it. Ember again, and now burn will kill. Excellent. sherbet has got 85 XP. It's only a half level. I suppose it is going to start slowing down now that we're in the double digits. What's my second one? What is it going to be? What is going to... Some good, some good. Give me a... Give me some good. What the hell do I do with a horde battle? Um... Huh. Forgot these were a thing here. I don't even know how these work. I mean, it's obvious I'm gonna have to catch a Scraggy, but which one? Do I just do I just throw a ball at the last one who's alive? I'm gonna work from left to right here. This looks like it could be kind of a massive pain. Like I'm gonna have to do a lot of swapping here. And they literally all get an attack. I don't know that... Um... Being five levels below me is that big of an advantage here. I'm gonna... Hmm... I don't even know what type they all are. Cherbitz is just the weakest guy that I've got, so he's probably not the best to do this with. I guess I'll toss out... Dunce? He can take a couple hits. He can probably take a few defense uh, lowers, too. Maybe I'll be able to work my way through a few of them with Dunce. So that is assuming they don't all sand attack me immediately. Oh, right. You have low kick, but... Ah, even a super effective move only does six. All right. Can probably deal with this. Can... Can... Can you... Can you not with all the stat moves? All right, somebody gave me this tip. They said if I defense curl, then roll out will have even more attack power. But the thing is, rollout's already got kind of not great accuracy, and they've sand attacked me twice. So I'm just gonna try rolling out the one of them and hope it hits. Nope, avoided the attack. Cool, here comes ever more sand attacks. And low kicks for days. And with lower defenses, that means, oh my, oh, this is, this is frustrating. Oh, good God, this is frustrating. I guess I'll try, I'm just gonna, I gotta keep going like through the lineup. And I don't want to use uh, Footsies or Kubats if I can avoid it because they're already my highest ranked guys. But, like, with five attacks incoming! Oh, I am worried that they're... Yeah, like, th three or four of them use Leer here, and all of a sudden one of those low kicks is... A serious contender to kill me! I can't... Ah! I wish that they didn't do this on, like, the, the one where I have to worry about catching some... Stop it with the deep with the Leering! God, this is, oh, it's just so irritating. And then they're gonna sand attack me again and I can't hit anything. Ah! I'm taking triple damage now. That's four leers. Vine Whip, the one on the, I swear to God, if they're resistant to grass. Thank you. That's only four moves that are gonna come in on me now. I might have to swap back uh, between Kubuts and Footsies just, just to reset this, uh, this stat nonsense. Like, he's taking like three or four sand attacks now. That's just ridiculous. Try Vine Whipping again. If this misses, next turn is over to Footsies. 
Oh, I can't kill them. I can't kill them with one shot. Like, look at that. They've literally completely maxed out the amount that they can lower my defense. And when they all run out of leers, that means that they're all gonna switch to sand attacks, and I'm never gonna be able to hit any of them. And when they run out of sand attacks, they're all gonna switch to low kicks, and suddenly whatever I put out dies. Ah, good, yes, you have big pecs. So at least the leers won't do anything to me. The sand attacks I still gotta worry about. Peck, Scraggy on the left. Once it gets down to the... Ah! Once it gets down to the last one, I'll swap back to uh, Chirbits or Aquamon and I'll try to just like lightly peck at them and get, uh, get a catch out of this. It's very weird to me that I had to rely on my level 14s to have a chance at taking out these level 5s. <laughs> At least low kick does very much nothing to footsies. All right, another peck. Cool. So it's super effective against whatever this is, which means it's probably a bug type if I had to guess. Just because it doesn't really look like a grass. And I don't think flying is super effective against ground, is it? No, it's not. It's only neutral. I want to kill this one on the right. I want that, that back right one. Okay, you're going to start the sand attacks again. Cool. Cool. It's fine. It's a fine and dandy thing. Yeah, this is what happens. This is what happens when they sand attack you forever. Come on, footsies. I don't want to do this swap and stop nonsense again. Just knock it out. Good, Scraggy down. Many experience points go all around. He knows low kick, so I'm not putting out uh, Scat Bat to deal with him. But I will swap back to... Yeah, Sherbet still has most of his HP, and against one thing that's level 5, he can probably actually hold his own. Probably. God, I hope so. Uh, yeah, just scratch it. I don't want you to do a lot of damage. Just a little bit. If I scratch into criticals, it's gonna be dead, so... I'll just go straight to the poker balls. Wow, okay, you're gonna you're gonna play this this game on me now. Toss another one. I don't wanna run the risk of that crit. You're a level five. You shouldn't be putting up too much struggle on getting in the ball. One. And yet, here we are. All right, fine. I'll scratch you again. Please don't die. Please don't die. Good. However, now I have to swap out uh, Chirbits. So, Pokemon. Let's go back to Footsie, since you can take all of these moves and then some. I gotta say, I'm not very excited about whatever the hell this thing is. But rules are rules, and I gotta catch it. Apparently, Scat Bat's not very good either, and so I am disappoint. But I will roll with what I've got. I have no option but. There we go. Scraggy was caught. Scraggy needs a spot in the team to catch up. Scraggy's data was added to the Pokedex. Scraggy is... Oh! Dark fighting? I would not have expected that. That's where the super effective is coming from, is it's fighting. 
suddenly a little bit more into this. Proud of its sturdy skull, it suddenly headbutts everything, but its weight makes it unstable too. Give a nickname to the caught Scraggy. Yeah, let's do this. All right, Scraggy. Scraggy is going to be... Since Scraggy came in among a crowd of other Pokemon that all looked and behaved exactly like him, I'm gonna call Scraggy a sheep. <laughs> sheep has been transferred to box one. Wait, what? You don't give me an option. No, I want him now! I, no, no, I want him now! Damn you! Never again am I gonna be able to get to use the little, like, lit up icon when something goes into my party, except, I guess, when something evolves, but like, ah! I thought, I... Moon spoiled me. I thought that was a thing that all of them had done. Apparently it was just a new thing in Seven. No, I don't want to rest my mons right now. I gotta get, I gotta get a little sheep. PC should be accessed. So I have Professor's PC, Central Kalos Pokedex. Oh, okay, cool. You've seen 39 kinds. Starting to look good. Uh, someone's PC. Withdraw Pokemon. So can I, can I trade? Oh, the quality of life improvements are starting to make themselves obvious. I can't just swap. I have to deposit someone first and then withdraw. <sighs> okay, so type coverage wise, I've got three normals with me. I probably don't need that. Lord Dunce is current, like, I like Scatbat, but Scatbat only has normal moves right now. Like, she, she's not even taking advantage of her tight, of her ability. And Lord Dunce I'm kind of using as like a fail safe since his stats are kind of above everybody else's right now. So Scatbat, you're getting swapped in for, uh, Oh, oh, this is gonna be awful. Scatbat, you're getting swapped in for sheep. Get out here, sheep. Pokemon organization is going to become a more and more difficult thing as time progresses in this series. Okay, Pokemon, what is sheep's summary? Sheep has Moxie, boost the attack stat after knocking out any Pokemon. Interesting, okay. So if you kill things, you get tougher. You know a fighting move, so you're getting your stab damage, and you have, ah, lower defense and higher speed. That's not a thing I'm happy with. But okay, that's the catch for Route 5. Ah, sorry about the yawns. My extended Christmas break is very near to its end. I spent two whole weeks playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and finally finished it last night so now this this last weekend it's like it's just a regular weekend for me i have to catch up on all my other projects that i wanted to take the second week of christmas for but then xenoblade got longer than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> all right sheep we'll get you up front just for this battle right here with these trainers so you get some good exp boost i don't know who was in second this is gonna be a double battle isn't it hmm Guess I need to pay attention to that. Twins, Faith, and Joy sent out me, me, Minan, Minan, and Plusle. Right, these things, like the baby, baby versions of Pichu or something, or may, they, they probably don't evolve into Pichu, they're their own thing, but they're, they're obviously meant to be fucking Pichu. They're just a blue and red Pichu. Uh, they're level 11, I got Lord Dunce. Lord Dunce is probably okay for this. But Sheep, I will swap for, not Footsies, that's a bad idea. They're super, super weak, so Chirbits might have a chance. And Aquaman will be weak to it, and Kubuts is too high a level. So here we go. Lord Dunce. Here, now I can use the defense curl and rollout combo. Go, Chirbits! Burn them alive! Burn up those babbies! Thunder Wave. Oh, great. Now I'm paralyzed. Cool. It's gonna be great when my rollout doesn't connect because I was paralyzed. Ember, the Minin since it's personal with him now. Sorry, her. You hit Plusle. 
since if this works out correctly, I would hope that this rollout will just kill it. Oh my god, I'm sorry! These guys are kind of, yep, there it is! There, called it, I called it! Now rollout's gonna be even harder to get out. All right, I'll hit the mine in. Just roll out on the mine in. Oh, and roll out's an even worse option since every turn I could be paralyzed and then it'll just kill whatever increased attack power I got out of <gasps> the paralysis. Lord Dunce, Lord Dunce, come on, dude. Jesus, this is, ah. Uh... Just, just go with rage. Just rage. You're getting a small boost out of it. They really have it in for dunce. I mean, I'm okay with it. I can slowly chip. I can slowly chip away at this mining, but at this rate, this is the only thing I'm gonna be able to do in this episode. <laughs> He finally started attacking Cherbits. Which I'm not okay with. Ugh. Now that Dunce is getting out moves, he needs to be attacked for his rage to get any kind of increase on it. And now they're attacking Cherbit. Ugh. Why is this game? Have it out for me. One down, finally. 334, wow, okay, this is this is not an insignificant amount of XP. Special defense on the Cherbits, nice. That's almost a second level. Woo! Sheep ought to get like two levels out of this then. Screech. Already knows four moves, move be deleted, forget, what have I got? Screech, it, it um, okay. Forget. Screech is harshly lowers defense. I've got... When it connects, rollout is good. Rage. Is it used on a target that's switching out of battle? I kind of like rage, just it because like I can leave Dunce out for a few turns. I don't know if I need two moves that increase in power. Defense curl and rollout, that'll be nice once it finally connects. Like, if it increases the attack power of rollout and it just increases the multiplier on the whole damage thing over several moves, that's even better. Actually, here, I'll drop defense curl. Since Lord Dunce has pretty good defenses already. Because rollout is strong if it gets going. It's just very risky, because it can last through several of the opponent's Pokemon. Yep, sheep grew to level seven. Okay, finally hit you. Now, Cherbits, you need to swap. Two. Only thing is, of the Pokemon that I have left, I actually, you haven't used a real electric move on me, so Aquamon might be safe. And then Dunce will rage again. Yeah, because all you've used is electric, uh, I mean, Thunder Wave. But that's not like Thunder Shock. So Aquaman might have nothing to really fear here. We'll water gun ya, and then we'll rage. Yeah, all we've got is quick attack. All right, cool. And water has neutral damage against electric, so this still works out in my favor. Plusle down. Yeah, wow, these guys give good XP. I will gladly take that. Akamon wants to learn Fury Swipes, which is... Uh, two to five times in a row, 80, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I do not like those stats. Get out of here for Fury Swipes. Keep old moves. Yes, give up on learning the moves. Ugh, it's too many menus, too many buttons. cherbit has got even more experience, and Sheep get another two levels? Yeah, nice. Sheep catching up very quickly here. Defeated twins, faith and joy. 
Um, yeah, that's right. Little twin girls. I beat up your poker mans. What's a double battle? Can you eat it? Is it tasty? You you just... What's co cooperation? But poker battles are hard. You're the ones that just came at me with these things. Pressing the Y button will let you use registered items. Select it in the key. Okay, I don't care about that. I see an item back here. I'm going to grab this. I can't grab this. I have to come at it from the other side. Okay. Then I'm going to refresh my Pokemon, and I'll do one more fight in this episode, because this feels like a cheat. I did two wild battles, one of them was scary, and then a trainer battle, and that's... That's like nothing. I can't give you guys an episode with just that. It's an outrage. There would be riots in the streets. Somebody would probably show up at my door and, like, be just a little bit nonplussed. Oh, here we go. Here's Dumb and Dumber. My goodness, Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made of Pokemon, aren't they? Yeah, ah, oh, I already hate him. I, it's it, every single conversation. All he cares about is dancing. Nobody cares. Oh, Tierno, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. That's why everybody hates you, Tierno. Ah, and my feet just start moving too. I can't even help it, you know? Like with Swords Dance, I love it. Guess that's why I can never win. Oh, hey, Showbots, your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle! Um... Poke challenged by Pokemon Trainer Tierno. Why does this guy get a 3D intro, but the gym leader didn't? Corpish. Okay, one of these things. This is all you got? I think you're a water type. You're level 12, though. Nothing I have is really going to be effective against that, and... I think you've got pretty good defenses, so... I'm just going to immediately swap, yes. I like the music for this battle, though. This is a good tune. Do, 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 do. Okay, um... I don't want to just fall back on Kubuts, and Cherbits has an elemental disadvantage. I think Aquaman knows a regular move, right? Check moves? Yeah, he knows Scratch and Lick. Aquaman can do this. I'm losing faith in Lord Dunce very quickly. That hurts. Alright, uh... Now, if I remember correctly, Lick... Yeah, may leave with Paralysis. Let's go with this. If I could paralyze you, that'd be best for me. Because you are currently coming out on top of the damage race. Alright. Not gonna happen, I see. Cool. Aquaman, I, um... I thought you could do this. I am... Mistaken. Dunce. You're up. Yeah, you can still take a hit better than anybody else. It's probably because you're large and slow. Uh, screech at you. Just that whatever moves I do hit you with will be super. And at least you're always attacking, so... If I hit you with rage, you should just keep vice gripping me and I'll get stronger. Yeah, look at that rage damage. No, now's- now of all times, really? Now's the one turn you choose to do something different? All right. Rage still out of work. You don't have that much health left. You're dead. Get out of my face, Tierno. Lord Dunce got 159. Twos across the board, one speed. Nice level. Aquaman got 159. Sheep got 159. Defeated Tierno. Oh, that was some nice footwork. Get out of my face, God. I uh, still don't know who you are. Why are you bothering me? <laughs> Good to see you, Kubuts. Excuse me, I meant Shoebuts. You see, Tierno, that's how you treat a lady. It really does seem as though Tierno can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, coming up the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream after all. I was born to dance. I would never stop. No moves like this. All you ever do is the same little arm waggle every time. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. Why don't you go over there and just chase that dream for the rest of your days? Guess I should show just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. By the way, does anybody else find it weird? 
that the professors tell us to go out in search of data on the poke Pokemons, like to complete their research or whatever, but then when we see the Pokemons, the data's already there. All it's doing is unlocking something that somebody else has already written. Where is it getting this information from? All I did was look at the thing. Who sends us on these pointless errands? This has all already been done. They're sending kids into the world on their own against wildlife and usually criminal organizations to do something that's already been done. Who organized this world? <laughs> it's good to be serious about some things. Oh, uh, shoe butts, do take this honey, won't you? Okay, that's a little weird. I'm picturing it as he just sort of poured out honey onto my hand. Like, not a jar of honey, he just poured some on my hand, and I'm sitting there and it's drooping through my fingers, I'm like, Ugh. You see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. So if you're gonna challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. Yeah, I have no intention of doing Pokemon hordes ever. Ever, if I can avoid it. Those are not fun time. Um, right, I said I wanted to do one more thing. I said I was gonna do one more battle, but, uh, I don't think a battle's as important- Ah, oh, it is more fucking Scraggies! Get out of here, you stupid- I'll catch you guys in the next episode after I'm done with this nonsensical fligamarole again. Like buttons down below, click to subscribe, share it around with people you know who like Pokemons and stuff. You know, you, you guys know how it goes. You know how it goes. Bye!